Hi, boys and girls. Um, I just want to do a little quick review on a few topics in thermal. Let's start off with one of your favorite equations, delta U equals Q plus W. Delta U stands for the change in internal energy of the gas. Okay? So that's the change in internal energy, and this is usually measured in joules. In fact, energy is always measured in joules. Q is the heat added or lost by the gas. So for instance, I could have, let's imagine I have a little section of gas right here. Well, there's my system. My system is just a collection of objects, and so I have some gas right there. If I take this little amount of gas and put a little candle under it, then I'm going to add Q. Heat is going to be gained by the gas. That's a positive Q. The W is the work done on the gas. So if you have a gas and you do work on it, then if you think about it, if you're doing work on that gas, then that gas is gaining energy. So anytime work is done on a gas, you call that positive work. Now if the gas expands, then is it doing work or not doing work? Johnny? That's right. It's doing work. I'm just kidding. There's no Johnny in here. <laughs> but I can't. Anyway. So if, if, if the gas expands, there's no work being done. The work is being done by the gas, and so that gas is losing energy. So if work is done by the gas, it's considered negative. Work done on the gas is considered positive. And so your change in internal energy, there's different situations where that can occur. It can either be positive or negative. Um, one other thing about this equation I want you to understand is delta U equals 3 halves N R delta T. It's actually t U equals 3 halves N R T. This is not an equation that's actually given on the AP test, but if you use this equation, it's going to help you. Okay, if you can understand this equation at all, um, it's going to help you. Kind of give me, how much are we doing? How are we doing on time? I just want to make sure we have time. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. So, whatever the temperature does, that's what happens to your delta U. So, delta U, T goes up, your temperature rises, your internal energy is going to go up as well. T drops, your internal energy is going to drop. So, let's start off uh, with a couple things. And delta U equals Q plus W. If Q equals zero, okay, this is called an adiabatic system. Adiabatic. All right, that means no heat is gained or lost by the system. All right, and I'm going to show you an example in a little bit of that. But if, delta, if Q is zero, that's called an adiabatic system. If that's zero, then you know that delta U equals W in an adiabatic system. All right? Now, when you talk about a well, first class, let me show you a little example here. This is what we call a fire piston. And all it is is it's got a little container right here with a washer on it. And then I've got a, another piston right here. Voila. And this piston right here, I'm going to put in, inside of this, I'm going to put just a teeny little piece of cotton. All you need is just a teeny little piece of cotton. If it's too big, it doesn't work very well. And so I'm going to put this cotton right down there at the bottom of this container. And I'm going to put this over the top like so. And so it's nice and snug. Then, let me give lights. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've got a little piston here. And this piece of cotton is down there in the bottom of that thing. And delta U equals Q plus W. So as you can see, I'm not, it's not going to gain any heat from the outside system. It's not going to lose any heat. I'm not, hooking, you know, I'm not putting this in a water bath to cool it down or a refrigerator. So I'm not removing heat from it. And I'm not um, adding any heat to it. 
So Q is equal to zero. So what's going to happen is, is I'm going to compress the gas. And so if I compress the gas, is the work on the gas positive or negative if I compress it? Positive. So by compressing the gas, I'm going to increase the work. And as you can see by the equation, well, you can't see the equation, but if you can see by the equation, if W is positive, then delta U is positive. And if delta U equals 3 halves nRT, if delta T increases, delta U has to increase. I mean, if delta U increases, then delta T has to increase. So if I can increase delta U, I can increase the temperature. And so what I'm going to attempt to do is try to ignite that piece of cotton by doing work on the gas. And so diesel engines have spark plugs. They don't even have spark plugs. I mean, they have, they have, um, they, they work by compression. They have what are called glow plugs. And they ignite their gas by, they have very high compression. And it doesn't work. They don't have to use a spark to ignite the gas. So let me do some work on this and see if I can get this to work. Some work to make it work. All right, so I'm going to try to push this down and see if we can get it to ignite. It doesn't always work the first time, so. And there it goes. And that was cool, and we just have to do it again just because it was cool. So let's try this again right here. And I'm going to put this right like so. Put it over the top. And let's see if we can compress that gas again. you got to do it really fast for it to work. So I'll put this over the top, and let's see if I can compress it real fast. And sure enough. So what I did is by doing, by doing work on the gas, by increasing, by doing work on the gas, I increased the delta U. Because this was positive work, so this was delta U. So this increased, the temperature of my gas increased, and it ignited. Now this N stands for the number of moles, R stands for the universal gas constant, and that value of R is on your green sheet, and it's like 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. All right, so let's talk about a few other things, a few other topics. How am I doing on time? You got two minutes, 30 seconds left. That's how much I have left? All right, let's talk about PV diagrams. Pressure versus volume. One of the things that physicists like to do, let me get this out of the way. Physicists like to graph all of this information of like the cycles of the gas. They can graph it, that's what they want to do. So the first thing I want to talk about is if I make a graph, and let's suppose I have a gas, and I move go from state A to state B. Okay? Where does it have a higher temperature, A or B? Any ideas? B. All right, point B, and that is correct. Now, here's why. If you go back to your days in chemistry, you learn that PV equals nRT, where P is pressure, and that pressure is, can be measured. I'm just going to write down the units. This can be measured in newtons per square meter or tor. Actually, you wouldn't use tor, though. It would be newtons per square meter, or it would be pascals. One pascal is one newton per square meter. Volume is V. That's in cubic meters. And N is the number of moles. And if you recall from chemistry, one mole is, a mole is just a counting unit. It's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Molecules or atoms. And then R is the universal gas constant, and that number is always going to be 8.31. And the unit, if you notice, is joules per mole Kelvin. And they always write mole, M-O-L, instead of M-O-L-E. That always bothered me, but moles, the number of moles, that cancels here. And this temperature is always measured, that's T, is always measured in Kelvin. So be very careful on the AP test that you have to convert from Celsius to Kelvin. Quick refresher, when you go from, how am I doing time? Celsius yeah, to Kelvin. Like 10 seconds. You add 273 to Celsius and you get Kelvin. And I'll stop for now.